Friday, and now it's time to talk about the weekend. Yep, there's so much going on inside and out, and a few fun things to do for Easter, too. So let's uh, let's get started with a big day at the box office, shall we? All right, let's we? do it. All right. All right. Oh, I'm so glad. I love Dumbo. Oh, I, I wouldn't know. I was wondering what you were saying you were so glad about. But coming in at number three is Dumbo. Dumbo is doing very well. Not as good as they wanted. Not as good as they wanted. No, no, no. It's not. It's actually performing poorly than the other uh, Disney films made. But in any event, it's still in the top five, so that's good. Coming in at number two at last weekend's box office, your favorite movie, Pet Cemetery. Oh, good, sweet. Sweet no, God in heaven. no, no, we don't like that no, one. We don't like and this one. number one, the top movie of the week is Shazam, which is the only way I can say that. Um, so I think it's going to be in the top five for this weekend. So let's get a pick for my top picks this weekend. Hellboy is back and does have star power with Mila Jojovich. Do you know who she is? I, I do not. She was in the Resident Evil movies. Okay. Okay, anyway, it's got uh, Ian McShane yep. in that. He's in American Gods. That's on Stars. It's a wildly popular. However, it, it is pretty graphic. I'm going to warn you. It's a Hellboy movie. It's funny. It's based on the graphic novels. Let's take a look. This is it. We're expecting a sign that says Secret Headquarters. Oi. I need some ID, love. Um, are you serious? You are mankind's best and only hope. I thought we were supposed to be fighting monsters, not working with them. And Hellboy fans, Ron Perlman is not playing Hellboy. Uh, he did all the other movies. This is a new movie. It's just a takeoff of a later on in Hellboy's oh, life. I'm going to take that right off my list. Okay, there you go. Little looks hilarious, hilarious, by the way. I love this one. It's uh, a powerful boss, faces down some challenges. She's mean to people. This little girl gives her the business, and boom, she's now a 13-year-old version of herself starring Regina Hall, Tone Bell, and Tracy Ellis Ross, who's Diana Ross's daughter, by the way, and more. Let's take a look. How did you go from this to this? You went to bed grown and then you woke up little. What? Child Protective Services? Enroll this child in school or somebody is going to jail. By somebody, do you mean? Jordan, to everyone else, you're a child, so you have to start acting like it. Get back to work. Whose child is this walking around here in a tiny pink pantsuit? <laughs> All right, that looks really, really adorable. Uh, that I want to see. Yeah, that looks adorable. My pick for the weekend, though, has to go with Missing Link. Stars uh, the voices of Hugh Jackman, Zoe Saldana, Timothy Oliphant, Emma Thompson, Zach Galifianakis, and more. I think this will be number one. Take a look. Legend tells of a lost species, a link between man and beast. For centuries, he's lived in hiding, but at long last, he's reaching out and ready to be found. You can speak. Yes, and um, I write as well. My penmanship isn't great, but, uh, you know, opposable thumbs and... <sighs> <laughs> it looks really adorable, so that look looks great. like fun for the whole family. All right, spring is in the air. Easter egg hunts are going on. Breakfast with the Easter Bunny. Spring egg coloring events are happening all over Connecticut, but a couple of Easter egg hunts I want to bring your attention to. First, tonight at 8 p.m., it's a hunt with a twist, the 20th annual flashlight egg hunt in Brookfield Town Hall for students in grades three through five. You can visit our Better Weekend blog for details on that. You do need to call for, for you know, you have to pre-register for that one tonight in Brookfield. But similar is going on in Windsor right now uh, and the Town Green, not right now, but tonight, 6.30 to 8. This is for kids ages one through 12. And for more Easter events, be sure to check out our betterct.com Better Weekend blog. I know, flashlight Easter egg hunting. That, that sounds, sounds fun, like fun, right? Right, it does sound like a good time. All right, Friday, tonight, and Saturday, JT takes over Mohegan Sun. Now, you may just get lucky and find some tickets. Uh, Justin Timberlake, the Man of the Woods tour. Floor is standing general admission. Uh, there will be no chairs on the floor, by the way, but really? JT, JT, Man of the Woods. That is awesome. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, he's pretty much sold out. Now, tomorrow, you can join WFSB Channel 3 and iHeartRadio for the Fight for Air Climb at Harvard 21 to benefit the American Lung Association. You can join us for same-day registration at 9 a.m., and we'll be out there uh, saying hello to you, so we hope that you will climb those steps all to benefit the American Lung Association. And if I can get this one in here, we've got some fun tomorrow night at the Toyota Oakdale Theater where the New Haven Symphony Orchestra performs the music of Queen. Wow, how awesome yeah. is that? That's at 7.30. Yeah, oh, terrific. Good time. 
Comedy for a Cause also is happening, by the way, if I can squeeze this one in. I yeah, think we have a little it. extra time. So at the Wyndham Club tomorrow night, it benefits the Covenant Soup Kitchen, and they're going to do a lot of comedy tomorrow night. So if you get a chance, check out our Booty Weekend blog, and you'll get hooked up to all the events in the state. Thanks, Renee. Well, thank you, what Scott. What a jam-packed weekend full Jammed. of fun.